Thank you very much indeed. These fingers are crossed. Some weather, Alex. Thank you, Stuart. Hello there. So far, April has not lived up to its name. There have been virtually no April showers. In fact, it's been an exceptionally dry month with just 2.9 millimetres of rain falling this month, which is just 6% of the April average. And there's no sign of any significant rainfall in the forecast beyond the weekend, which is predominantly dry and sunny. Temperatures, well, they got to 17 Celsius today. We've seen lots of sunshine across the region, but that lack of rainfall will be a problem for gardeners and growers and I suspect that these beautiful tulips may have had a little bit of help with some extra watering. Now overnight tonight it stays dry and clear and it's another chilly one but after a warmer day temperatures quite widely will be a degree or two higher than they have been but that's not to say that there won't be a frost. Some parts of the region that are frost prone could be below freezing so don't take these uh, values as literal and there's also likely to be some mist and fog patches forming perhaps a little bit more widespread than we've had recently so it is going to be a chilly start to the day tomorrow but high pressure is our dominant feature so we'll see lots more fine weather the difference tomorrow is the sunshine could be a bit more hazy with some high level cloud around and into the afternoon there'll be some fair weather cloud bubbling up at times now across the west 16 perhaps 17 celsius further east we're under the influence of that northeasterly wind bringing in the cool air from the north sea so perhaps 13 celsius on the coast itself eight or nine degrees and also the pollen count is going to be very high through the day tomorrow but we should see lots of sunshine and it should be a pleasant afternoon now a slight change for sunday the high sinking slowly southwards that easterly wind freshening more north sea cloud coming in overnight saturday and into sunday and it's possible it could be a tiny bit of drizzle and a bit of a damp forecast first thing but actually it's predominantly dry the cloud should thin and break up and we'll see the sunshine but those numbers will be lower through the day tomorrow you can see on the chart 10 or 11 degrees go further towards the coast that keen northeasterly wind keeping things lower at around eight or nine degrees now there's some uncertainty in the forecast as we start next week this area of low pressure sinking southwards it's going to bring more cloud possibly some rain but nothing significant is expected so we just about hold on to that dry and sunny weather for monday by tuesday there could be some rain on that low but it looks as though it'll be largely cloudy and potentially quite cool and cloudy for the rest of next week and then looking at the overnight temperatures there's still some pretty chilly nights Stuart. Alex thank you very much a reminder of the top now get that debate on Sunday from all of us have a great weekend bye bye